fingerless gloves. So for this project, you will need a pair of socks. They can be um, any kind of sock, but I just get like a thin cotton sock. And I like to use the ones that are short like that. You can use ones that are knee socks, that's okay. Um, but the best kind to use would be like a thin cotton sock like these, okay? And they can be any color that you want. I just happen to have sort of these yellow ones with some purple. You need a pair of scissors. And optional are some sticky gems, okay? So if you have any uh, leftover gems like from another project, those would look really cute on your gloves. Okay, so I'm going to put my gems to the side for now. I'm just going to take one sock. I'm going to put the sock on my hand. So when I put the sock on my hand, I'm going to make sure that the heel of the sock, so this sort of curvy, roundy part that your heel would go into if you were going to wear it as a normal sock, this part of the sock should be on the back of your hand, like near your wrist. So I'm going to put it on all the way until my fingers go all the way to the toe. Here's the heel on the back of my wrist. See it like that? Okay, so <clears throat> now I'm going to spread out my fingers. So when I spread them out like that, you'll be able to see sort of this um, in between your fingers. It looks like a web, like a, like a duck's foot. There's like a web in between the duck's toes. So it looks like a web here, a web between these fingers, and a web over here, and then one over here between your thumb and your pointer finger. Okay, so you're going to keep your fingers spread out like this. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut a tiny little slit where the web is between your fingers. So I'll do the one that's right here. It's easier to see that one. So this is between my pointer finger or my index finger and my middle finger right here. Okay, so I'm going to cut a tiny hole. A tiny hole is all that's necessary. So it's just a little slit with my scissors see how small that is it only needs to be small like that because the sock is very stretchy and the hole will get bigger later so we only need a tiny hole for now so now I'm gonna do the next little hole it's right here see that's all it took just a tiny tiny little snip now I'll do the one between my ring finger and my pinky I'm cutting with my left hand and I'm usually right-handed so <laughs> it might take a few tries there it is there's the other hole all right and then one over here between my thumb and my index finger there we go there's that one and there's one more that we have to do where there isn't a web so over here where your pinky finger is. Here's the end of my pinky. See, there's no web here, but I still need to cut a hole right here. So I'm just gonna pinch it with my other hand, the spot where I'm going to cut the hole. I'm just gonna pinch it like that. Take the sock off my hand. I'm still pinching that area. And then I'm gonna cut my little snip right there where I was holding it. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. There it is. Okay. So now I can put the sock back on my hand again with the heel on the back of my wrist. And I'm going to start to put my fingers through the holes. So I'll do my pinky first. And my ring finger. And you'll notice when you put your fingers through, the holes will stretch out quite a bit. The, is it this one? Am I missing a hole? No, here it is. <laughs> there. And then I can pull the sock down a little bit, can pull it from here so it goes to the bottom of my fingers or the base of my fingers right here. Just pull it a little bit, tug it, and then it will look like a fingerless glove. 
So if you don't like the heel that's right here, you can always trim this off. If you like, I like to leave it on. I think it looks kind of cool. Sometimes I leave it like that. And then sometimes I just kind of fold it like this. I don't know, I think it's cool. Okay, so for the gems that are optional, you can put gems on the back of your hand here. I don't recommend putting it on this side because you'd be doing things with your hands and the gems will come off. So I like to put the gems here on the back. Sometimes I put a few like right here on the side of my thumb. So I'll do a few here. I have some clear gems. Put like one right there. And I'll do, I'll do like three on the back of my hand like that. And I'll do a couple right here. Like right on at the side of my thumb. And then you can do the exact same thing with your other sock. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do it really quickly here. So the heels on the back of my wrist again. I'm going to spread my fingers out like that until I see the web between my fingers. And then I'll cut the little holes. Snip. Snip. Snip, <laughs> snip, and then the one that's over here that needs to go beside my pinky, I'm just going to pinch where I'm going to cut the hole, hold it, take it off my hand, and then cut that. Put it back on. Pinky, ring finger, middle finger. Index finger <laughs> and thumb, and then just pull it down. And there are your fingerless gloves, and I probably put some gems over here later. That's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to do. Um, it might be a little bit hard sometimes to spread your fingers out while they're while you're trying to cut it because it really works the muscles in your fingers when you're trying to go like that. But um, yeah, it's like a super easy project. You can use any kind of socks that you like. If you go to the store and you find a really cute pair of socks, like the color or pattern that you like, you can have a really cute pair of fingerless gloves. So I hope you have fun with this project and I will see you in the next video.